The film starts with Carla, who is a single mother that works as a waitress at a diner to support herself and Frankie. She has to deal with horrible patrons while being short-staffed, including a family whose son whines about wanting hash browns, and a couple where the girlfriend is rude and impatient with Carla. Carla's boss tells he has called another waitress to come help so she and Frankie can leave to spend the day together. Carla takes Frankie to the park. While he runs around the playground, they play Marco Polo. The both then sit down to watch a show in the park when Carla gets a phone call. She leaves Frankie on the bench with his recording toy. Carla talks to her lawyer, who speaks her that her ex-husband wants full custody of Frankie. While taking this call, Carla feels the need to turn away from her son rather than merely walking a few feet away while still staring in his direction. As the title guarantees, in the blink of an eye, the little boy disappears. Carla asks other parents if they have seen him while she goes around shouting, Marco, repeatedly. Carla then goes to the parking lot and sees a woman dragging a screaming Frankie into a green Ford Mustang. Carla runs to the car and hangs to the side until she falls off and her phone falls out of her bag. Carla takes her minivan and chases after the other car. They drive through the parkway where the Mustang causes some accidents. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel, like and share this video and hit your comments. Carla efforts to alert other drivers to the incident once she recognizes she's lost her phone. The woman then pulls out a toolbox on the road to get Carla off their tail. As Carla gets closer, the kidnappers roll down the window so the woman can hold Frankie at knife point, forcing Carla to take another route. She continues to follow them off the parkway. She listens to the recording toy and hears the female kidnapper talking to Frankie, making him believe his mom was looking for him. The kidnapper says her name is Margot. Carla sees a police officer on a motorcycle and tries to get his attention by driving erratically. The officer rides up and tells Carla to pull over, but once he gets between Carla and the kidnappers, the villains pin the officer between both cars and cause him to crash his motorcycle in a ditch. The kidnappers pull over onto a grassy field, and Carla stops too. The male kidnapper, named Terence Vicky, steps out with his knife and runs toward Carla. She reverses her car up until Terence runs out of breath. Carla drives toward him as he runs, but she doesn't hit him. Carla offers him money in return for Frankie but also promises she won't stop looking for her son as long as he is in the car. After Terence runs back to the car, Margot goes to Carla's minivan and calmly tells her that they need $10,000 in exchange for Frankie's safe return. She orders Carla to let her ride in the minivan so they can follow Terence, or he will kill Frankie. Carla hesitantly lets Margot inside. Carla follows Terence's car. As they go through a tunnel, Margot attacks Carla. Carla is able to fight her off and throw her out of the minivan. Carla wears Margot's jacket to give Terence the impression she's still riding in the van. As Carla continues to follow, Terence eventually figures out that Margot is no longer with her, so he threatens to drop Frankie out of his car, forcing Carla to slow her chase. Carla loses Terence's car for a while. She passes a family fishing and tells them to call the cops on a green Ford Mustang. She then spots an accident he caused that led to a traffic jam. She efforts to drive through the field and runs to the car, only to see that Terence and Frankie are gone. One of the people in the accident tells Carla where a man was running off to with the boy. Carla runs to a nearby police station to report the kidnapping. The officer at the desk says her to wait. Carla calls her husband while she sees pictures of other missing children, some of whom have been gone for over a decade. Carla fears Frankie will suffer the same fate, so she carry on the search on her own. Carla goes by a parking lot and sees a black Volvo speeding out, understanding this is Terence. She chases him until Terence strikes a pedestrian. Another car almost hits this woman until Carla blocks the approaching car with her own. She continues to chase after Terence but her car is running out of fuel. Carla then spots an authority vehicle on the road and tries to hitch a ride, only for Terence to strike into the car, killing the other driver and knocking Carla unconscious. When Carla comes to, she runs to the Volvo but doesn't find Frankie in there. Terence emerges and proceeds to shoot at her. 
Carla drives back in the car with Terence trying to cling on. Carla lets the car go in reverse into the woods, with Terence getting stabbed by multiple branches until the car hits a tree. Carla questions Terence over Frankie's whereabouts, but he dies. She then gets his wallet out and learns his name, plus his home address, thinking Frankie might be there. Carla pushes to Terence's house. She finds pictures of Terence and Margot, signifying they were married. Carla sneaks around as Margot is there. Margot talks on the phone to an accomplice over where Terence is and how Carla has become a problem for their operation. Carla makes her way to find Frankie. She calls the police, and the operator says that officers will arrive within 7 to 15 minutes. Margot leaves the house, and Carla runs to a nearby outhouse where she finally finds Frankie. To her surprise, Frankie is there with two other kidnapped girls. Carla gets Frankie out but has to run when Margot returns. Margot appears to realize that Terence is dead. Carla and Frankie run by the lake. Margot sick her dog on Carla, but she and Frankie are hiding under the docks. Carla creates a diversion by letting a small boat sail across the water to make Margot think she is there. Margot shoots at it but then sees Frankie under the dock. She tries to shoot the boy, but Carla pulls Margot underwater. After a struggle, Carla stabs Margot and lets her drown. Carla goes back to the outhouse for the other two girls. A neighbor, Dell, enters into the house with a shotgun after hearing commotion. Carla tells him that Terence and Margot kidnapped children, though Dell claims they wouldn't do that, having known them for over a decade. Dell calls to the children and refers to them as girls, before Carla says that she never told him they were girls. Understanding he is part of the kidnappings, Carla swings a shovel at Dell's face and kills him before he turns his gun on her. The police arrive and bring Carla and the kids out safely. We then hear news reports about how Carla has stopped an international trading operation, with arrests being made in places like New York, Paris, London and Dubai. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel, like and share this video and hit your comments.